Hey everybody, Magnum Knights, coming back with Dark Souls 2. And uh, in our last episode, I have failed a couple of times in killing the next boss along my path of succession. It seems to be a three-part boss, and I'm having difficulty with just uh, part one of this boss encounter. A little bit of life gem, a little bit more life gem. Now we can go slam our faces into these guys. Or we can take the back route and ignore them completely. And wonder why this isn't the shortcut it claims to be. Nope, nothing in the pot. Nice and slow. Dodge these little assholes. This is where Pilgrim Beatrice was, I believe. Some of the cell here. So I'm gonna use another effigy here. See if she's back in the spot. Yep, yeah, Pilgrim Belclair. We'll summon Pilgrim Beclair. She was doing some pretty decent damage to the boss, if I remember correctly. What do we have here? Diapers. Alright, diapers, I will summon you. I like her soul arrow. When can I get that? Alright, so we're gonna play uh, the sneaky sneaky hidey hidey game with the statue and just let Claire do all the damage. But she is up not to enter the arena right away. Type of boss you just kind of chip away at. Don't let him push you off a ledge. Oop, oop. <laughs> Fuck, he fell. He took it like a champ. Apparently he can jump. Did not like that. Did not like that at all. So now it's going to cost me another fucking effigy. But since you can use effigies anywhere now to regain your humanity, there's no reason. No, I'll just die. That's cool. Depth perception, not my strong suit. No 
suppose I could warp out from the fire, try a different path. When'd you get to aggro up? Huh? Just die like you always do. Done to smashing me in the face before I could get the shield up. Huh. Drink Coke and game. Apparently, it does terrible things. spell uses. Alright, so it's the better version of the Amber Herb. Now what I should do is Soul Grind, gain a few more levels. These guys aren't exactly, you know, powerful. Compared to me. Another Twilight Herb. Definitely worth having. I'm gonna kill these dogs to see if I can get some more soul credit cards. I also like how damage is now inconsistent in Dark Souls. So you can't just walk up, hit an enemy, and it does X damage. It's now, well, what were they doing? Where did you hit them? Huh, who is your daddy, and what does he do? Alright, so shield is definitely a very good commodity to have at this stage of the game. I'd like one with 100 physical resist, but apparently that is a thing of the past. No, no, he's brought all his buddies. Come on, conga line, get down here. Not the dude I wanted. You know what? You all want to kill yourselves? <laughs> That's fine with me. to your doom, peasant. Hmm. 
Yeah, no kidding. Attacks. Let's try this again. Now, the player does great damage to the enemy. But it's no like. Which Patrice versus the Moonlight Butterfly, where you could just passively stand back, you actually have to uh, dodge this little asshole. If I could find another summon around here, keep the heat off me. Alright, dummy, come on. And we're going to leave this area for now. See if there's a different route. Yeah, let's go here. That last death has kind of pissed me off something fierce. Huh, apparently bleed is an upgrade path now. have fire bombs and witch bombs. Good things. And spells. Melenta, yes I know all that crap. I swear I'll keep all my things right with me. You may travel night, but me thinks you bear a burden of your own. My friend that walks across the bridge. Out here. There we go. 
killing these guys, that makes me feel better. Actually, I totally forgot about this. There's a door here. Where does this go? Perhaps this is the way I should have went, rather than fighting Pursuer. Ninja Turtles. Old ironclad gauntlets. Fire bombs. Oh yeah. Well, magic is versatile. I feel the pinch that melee combat is more deadly. Able to deal a lot of damage much quicker than a spell cast can. Whereas in Dark Souls, melee combat. Oh, he's got a four hit combo? That fucking thing? Then again, I'm still using the uh, basic uh, spell. Soul arrow here. So maybe if I find a more advanced spell, it'll be a little bit easier. Oh, there's a torch. And a dude guarding a door. I'm actually going to come back to this. I'm going to go light up my torch, run around lighting these things. See if it actually does anything. Maybe enemies in the light are a little weaker. So I have close to an hour of torch time. So let's set, let's set that alight. Maybe carrying this thing around will reveal secrets. Still no secrets from lighting these things. But maybe it'll be helpful later. Let's put the torch away. Ow! Archer!
your spells actually leave targets now? Where'd the other turtle go? Oh, there he is. Ask and thou shalt receive turtle power. Another area through here. Oh, hi! Sneaky bastard! Wait, you're still alive? With the tree axe. Is that like the battle axe? Is there turtles in here too? No, just hollows. Even still, let's be careful. Alright, douche with the bow. This trap written on it. Nope. Hey, a bastard sword. Okay, there's where the first great sword of the game is. Hey, thud. All right, there's a ladder there. There's a ladder out here as well. I think. Yep. And there's a turtle up here. And I'm gonna have to try and melee down. Two turtles! That's a lot of stompy evil. Portcullis here. Let's grab this. Bonfire. All for bonfire. Yes, bonfire. And just lighting the bonfire won't respawn the world, but it does set your spawn point. Salmon? The giant rests in peace. I guess the giants really did become trees of a sort. So let's go light that torch up again at this bonfire. Let's see if I can light this giant on fire. Well, he rests in peace for now. Something tells me he's not going to stay that way. Let's put the torch out. So we can also come up this ladder.
<laughs> Alright, the purpose of that ladder is so you can play Ring Around the Rosie with this hole here and only fight one turtle at a time. Not so clever now, are you, turtle? Here's a big bad two-handed charge. So, cracked red eye orb. Oh, invasion orbs. This area does seem a little easier than the last one I was in. Mimic? Not a mimic. Hunter's hat. Oh, leather armor. Nice. Let's see how the leather armor looks in this game. Fashion Souls time! I also have the hollow infantry armor. The uh, plated hollow armor. There's the leather armor. Yeah, it looks kind of the same as it did in Dark Souls and all the other souls. And of course the standard tunic that you come equipped with normally. Wait, these have B scaling for poise? These all have B scaling for poise. However, that, the hollow soldier armor has an A scaling for poise. supposed to be cloth though. Yeah, that's 6.5 weight on the imported tunic. Even this mage rope has B scaling for poise. I'm just gonna have everything B scale poise, what the hell? Now this area is easier, but it's not exactly an area to be adventured. just smashing the terrain around you. Let's go over here. Plenty of turtles down here. But he fell on me. Boys are mean in business right about there. There's my timer going off. Quit having slightly more health than I think you do. Let's go past Penetrator here, or sorry, Pursuer. 
And this time let's not click on the raven nest. Let's see where it goes. Fire longsword is making that so much easier. These spear assholes. Another life gem, always useful. Drop my white summon stone there. See if I can get summoned. Actually, these look like something that you could use to shoot a pursuer in the face with. Now, last time, there was a little nest around here that I clicked on that I should not have clicked on. Yeah, it's up here. Because that took me to the uh, lost Bastille. Giant here too. Just sit. Trangelic sword, shield, mail, gauntlets, and leggings. Get to be a Drangelic Knight? Let's take a look at this stuff. Oh, hell yeah! Did I have a hood? shield. It needs 16 strength. And Drangelic Sword. There you are. Holy shit! Alright, it's a great sword. It's, it's got 60 frickin' uh, defense if you block with it. Physical. 9 weight. 186 base attack. I mean... That's 46 more than the Bastard Sword. But it weighs 3 units heavier. There's 25 strength, 20 dex to wield one-handed. So you'll always need the 20 dexterity. So apparently swordsmanship isn't always about uh, strength in this one. Because all the swords seem to have a decent amount of dexterity required to wield them. I got a infantry axe as well. Terrible scaling. Decent damage. But yeah, the Gillick set looks pretty awesome. Shame I have no endurance to actually walk around with it.
And we'll switch back to standard mage with this dagger here. But yeah, that was a great find. And I'm pretty sure I've already told my timer to shut up. So, I'm gonna say, see you guys in the next one. After that incredible find.